if you're just joining us, let's do this. Follow on Twitch. Yay. Yeah. This is also, one. like, comment, hey, and subscribe on YouTube points, and get you. Everyone, you fool. Yes. And you'll get and also, say hello to my alligator spirit animal, Toothy. All right, pick a category. Out, Toothy likes to eat camp tuna. I get to pick a category. Yay. Okay, here's your pick first question. Pick camp tuna if it's there. A not today phobia <laughs> is the fear that somewhere in the world a blank is watching you. A not today phobia is the fear that somewhere in the world a blank is watching you. We all know the answer to this. At least I should hope we all know the answer to this. This is... Hmm. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Anatidephobia is the fear that somewhere in the world a penis, anita, squirrel, duck, or stalker is watching you. It's slipping my mind. I should have put my spirit animal down, but then you all would have known it was mm. mine, so. a Squirrel okay, running backwards is watching you. Yeah, that's not a squirrel, that's a diamond. Vanity selected squirrel. Thank you. I don't know. It's duck. Yeah. Penises can't watch you. Which they is a ridiculous fear. And they're always inside the pants. And nobody Unless fell for some of these ingenious, ingenious lies. That's logical. I forgot the boat, damn it. There's a duck here, and I don't think he'd be able to watch. She'd be able to watch you, because they're ducks. Who have you heard of a duck? Time to pick a category. Ducks are really, I mean, you could kick Very a duck. Very docile. Okay, here's yeah. the question. Geese Walter are a little bit more Arnold aggressive, but I'm not sure geese either. Walter Arnold received the world's first speeding ticket in 1896, for going, per hour. In 1896 for going blank miles per hour. Walter Arnold received the world's first speeding ticket in 1896 for going blank miles an hour. He was going five miles. 420, 8, 16, 20, or 3. Two miles an hour. No. Let's see what everybody selected. So I selected to... twenty. Thanks. <laughs> we took them to the town, the center. Of town. Bunny and Vanity yeah. selected sixteen. <laughs> Thank you. Go with eight. Grim googled it. No, I just he know was, that the Model T couldn't go much faster than it's an eight. So, Serves them right. And the rest of the board goes unselected. So I'll be little, literally fast to walk. <clears throat> Not quite. No. A brisk walk is three miles an hour, three or four. Select a category. Right now. Grim, select a word. I wonder what word Grim will select. Okay, here's the question. Well, oh, just because you said it, I had to. In 2013, I think the but... ad agency placed so, uh, beer Tiara, fridges throughout Europe that oh, could only yeah. be opened by blank. Predictable. And in 2013, the Rethink ad agency placed red beer fridges throughout Europe that could only be opened by blank. In 2013, hey, the Rethink Ad Agency truth. placed red beer fridges that throughout Europe that could only be opened by ID, steady hands, adults, Canadians, or terrorism. Steady hands. Canadians. Oh, that would be good. Yeah. What? Can only be opened by terrorism. Would they, like, plant a bomb on the okay, fridge to blow up the door and then take the... Grim selected steady hands, and yes. Thank you. The I rest of us selected ID. Thank you. Nice slide. Well, you guys blew Canadians. it. Canadians? They had oh, to scan really? their passports to get the beer out. Well, I updated. Sorry, <laughs> they had to scan Me their too. passports to get their beer out. That's and dumb. And that means some of these didn't get picked. That's impressively stupid. 
How do they know when a Canadian opens it? Oh, the stench of death because Canadians are all undead. Uh. Tell you, they <laughs> built that wall. Which means all point values are doubled. Nobody Exciting. voted for mine, which right, would have made a sense. Everyone picked Funny. Mine, which made pick sense. a thing. I'm looking. Okay, here's the question. Grr, grr, grr. Advanced grr. comfort technology grr. makes alligator water beds for blank. Grr. Advanced comfort technologies grr. make take technology makes water beds for blank. Advanced comfort technology makes mm. water beds for blank. Fucked up. Canoe sex. All right, where's the truth? <laughs> Advanced comfort technology makes water beds for peats, pets, cats, cows, or dogs. Mm. Pardon my hiccup. Uh. Pete, I vote for Pete. All right, let's Advanced Comfort Technology picks. makes water beds for. Only for Pete. Three of us pick pets. Pete, you get the fuck off. Holy cows. If you name not Pete, you get the fuck off that bed. Bunny just got a bunch of, <laughs> bunch of points. Bunny selected cows, which was the truth. <laughs> I figured so if it's not if pets, you it's gonna to be have cows. Sex with cows in your van, this is the bed for you. <sighs> I like Pete. <laughs> it's gonna be a bad business food. model just to make beds. Thank you, Bunny. <laughs> But motto of the company is, if you're not named Pete, you get the fuck off our bed. <laughs> so Rabbit just did to me what I what I did to her last round. Uh. And Pete gets all the other votes. Okay, here's the question. In 1965, <laughs> if you're not named Pete, you fuck off. A sad looking crying doll dressed oh in tattered God. rags. In 1965, Hasbro Miss made Frank. a sad looking crying doll mind, dressed no. in tattered rags called Little Miss Blank. Oh, I'm gonna have to blur this one. 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 Oh my god. Little Miss Battered Wife. I remember those dolls, but I don't remember what they were called actually, so I might get like a recall when I see the answers. Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. I. I was. Uh, I behaved myself. <laughs> Okay, I here think you my go. Find the truth. In 1965, Hasbro made a sad looking crying doll dressed in tattered rags called Little Miss Trash, Little Miss Orphan, Little Miss Alabama, Little Miss No Name, or Little Miss Homeless. I know the answer. I see what I saw it. Yeah. This doll's a creepy look. The second I saw it, I remembered it. Alright, who picked what? Oh. I selected Orphan because of the musk. <laughs> uh, Vanity selected Alabama. Thank you. Alabama. Uh, the other two pick no name. Yes, yeah, Wilma's no name. And nobody picked the other lies up there. I was going to put in Detroit, but I couldn't remember. I was going to put in something else entirely, but I don't want to have to edit. Yeah, everyone else put in, yeah. and I don't know if anyone's second guess their dang answer. But... Alright, pick a category. Everyone else in case, you wouldn't have to in, in case anybody was wondering, it rhymes with grape mictum. Okay, here's the question. Yeah. Uh. A study published in the journal of <laughs> Zoo reported uh, that cows produce five uh, little miss, more milk uh, when they're they given knee. blank. Uh, a study published by the journal like Anthro Zoo reported that cows are produced food. produce five percent more milk when they are given blank. A study published in the journal AnthroZoo mm. reported that cows produce 5% more milk when they are given blank. Okay, here are your choices. Bull semen, meth, butt sex, names, semen in their feed. Oh my goodness, semen fucking hive mind up in here. I don't think they give them meth. You'd be surprised at the, the dumb shit people do. Well, oh, Vanity selected yet. meth. I mean, what about the whole dolphin ecstasy thing? That was Grimm's lie. The rest well, of us selected not... names. At least Just because we didn't want butt sex or bull semen. And the rest of the board goes unselected. 
<laughs> I don't believe that you don't want butt sex or bull semen. So. Right, apparently the up dudes went to semen. It's time for the final fibbage. Just one final question. Three, and it's two of them were triple. directly what? semen related. Final fibbage. Here's your final fibbage question. For all, this is for all the semen. Resembling Queen Elizabeth II that's sold by the company Masterpieces. Oh god, the name of the dildo rese now. resembling Queen Elizabeth II that's sold by the company Masterpieces. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after this is over, I need to tell you what I almost put. Oh my god, the name of the dildo resembling Queen Elizabeth II that's sold by the company Masterpieces. Okay, which one's the truth? Buckingham Phallus, Slick, God Save the Queen, Queen Bones Elizabeth, Bo Bone Elizabeth, Royal Pounding. I'm glad I know the actual name of this. I'm also upvoting that one. Uh, I'm going for <sighs> Buckingham Okay, what did everyone pick? Bunny went with God Save the Queen. Thank you, Bunny. You're welcome. God save the queen. The rest of us probably went Buckingham Phallus because that's the correct answer. That's such good I Perfect almost Day. accidentally God type God save the weed. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was just one off on two of my letters. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The winner is Grim. That was a the people's choice, or the people's champion, is Vanity again. Three times in a row. Sweet. If your name isn't Pete, get the fuck off. <laughs> this now. stream brought to you by Pete. If your name isn't Pete, stay the fuck out of their beds. And don't use their dildos that are shaped like Queen Elizabeth II. That sounds dangerous and stupid. Yeah, yeah. And probably hard to clean, if it's got details and shit. What was that, Ace? I may have to stop here, my internet's fucking up. Aww. This stream brought to you by New Zealand Internet. It fucks up. And because name fuck Pete, you if you want to do things. <laughs> yep. Their name if your name isn't, isn't so If your name isn't Pete, no internet's for you. <laughs> well, since... Yeah. New Zealand's internet has caught fire, and my brain can't brain anymore. If you watch the stream, thank you for watching the stream. If you're watching this later someplace else, hi. I see you. I am also a duck. Good night. Name Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Quack. Ring the bell. Like. Subscribe. And remember Quack. This, this, this stream is brought to you by Pete's Beds. If your name's not Pete, get the fuck off. Quack.